Instagram. It's me, T, from the Palace of Taking the Train to Tibet. Yeah, still working on this. Don't worry about that part. Look, this is a Friday. I named it, uh, uh, I didn't name it at all. Friday Notes. I got to come up with a good name. It's basically the stuff that happened during the week that I want to I wanna make a final address of it. Not the final, but you know, a week. Look, stop. Let me let me start all over again. Mondays is me day, okay? I talk about me. Tuesday is U.S. day, politics and otherwise, okay? Wednesday is world day, politics and otherwise, right? Thursday is audio drama day. Hey, that's a good day. Uh, Friday is the end. Of, it was well, it's the end of the working week. So, so what I stuff that I miss or stuff I want to readdress or address, or whatever, then I do it on a Friday. I've got to find a good day, for, a good name for it. I haven't found a good name yet, right? Saturday is whatever pops into my head day, and Sunday is usually I, I, I read something, then I riff off whatever I'm reading. That's how it's shaped up. So these these are called T tirades, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Because uh, when I write, don't worry about the book. Look, let me just hone in on one thing. You know, the big news of this week is when uh, black men finally jettisoned, uh, took 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 the black card or the black complaining card, took the black card away from Barack Hussein Obama. Barack Hussein Obama earned his black card basically not, no, not from being uh, some activist or whatever they, they say, not from, I guess he, he earned his black card also from marrying Michelle. Okay, got a black card because before he, before Michelle, he wasn't doing no, no black women, so he, he didn't have a black card then, right? And then, of course, the basketball thing. When uh, the two things, when I when I noticed when I when I first came across my understanding or my thing, my thing of him, right? I noticed that uh, the two things that got me oh he's going to be elected. Why? Because he, at the time Oprah was a big thing. Oh, we snatching. Hey, the sisters need to snatch Oprah's black card too. There should be some. Uh, no, you got your black card, but but, but it's like. Uh, it's expired? Yeah. We're not going to take the black card. We're going to say, your black card is expired. You're living in the, in the expiration zone. Yeah. We need to put some of these black people in the expiration zone. Because they've been, ex, 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 well, they've been what they've been. Right. I'm going to move my, my camera here. Okay. So, so, so here's what people understand. Sports is a big thing, you know. And when he connected with all of the sports, because not sports people in sports, they don't pay attention to nothing else. Just like, just like you know, some people in, in music, they don't pay attention to nothing else. You know, it's only the real political heads, you know, or whatever. That then we sort of whatever. whatever. But see, I'm also a, I'm an artiste kind of person. So uh, back to the point. So Barack Obama. See, here's the thing. Uh, let me talk about me for just just a second, right? See, I realized at some point this, this week, well, before this week, that the, what makes me different than a lot of other people is because now I never had a steady, a, a regular job, you know, 20-year, 30-year job, saving up, get your, get your thing, and then you're going to save for your family or stuff. No, I never had that. always had these little things in it, and I always read a lot. So my, 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 my experience is varied and wide. It's, it's, le it's vast. I have vast experience in everything. Now, in this vastness, what makes me different is that at points I can take out a nugget from this vastness and nugget from over here and nugget from over here. I call them uh, basically the insignificant. For you they would be insignificant little specks but I take these insignificant little specks and I put them together and they became all of a sudden they make ooh revelation. Right? For instance Barack Obama. Um, again I, I hinted at this before but I'm just going to hint that again I'm not going to say it again. Um, uh, I didn't know about this time but I know somebody who uh, they, they were doing some uh, some student stuff at at at, uh, at the city university of well, uh, CCNY city city university in New York whatever uh, the, the 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 university that has you know uh, 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 Leonard Jeffries is there and and uh, you know people like that not like that. Well, they had a thing where they had to get rid of the, some sort of student coordinator or something like that. They, somebody was doing some nefarious thing. They got rid of him, right? And then they said, well, we need a black one here, whatever. And Barack Obama, before he was Barack, well, he was still Barry, you know, he was, he was, he was a Columbia, Columbia law student, whatever it was, right? No, 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 before, before Harvard, he was Columbia, right? Okay. He was at Columbia. Somebody was at Columbia. He said, you know, Columbia's in Harlem, City University of New, uh, CCNY, City University of New York is in Harlem. They're all in Harlem, right? 
you know. So they wanted to get a black person. So they, 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 they approached Barack Obama. He said, sure. And he never showed up for the job. I guess he looked and said, oh, I don't think I can handle this, you know. That's how I got my job was when I was with the production engineer at WBAI. Nobody wants me for the job that I get. And uh, they had hired somebody, right? And I'm qualified to do it. And a person came in and they looked around and said, ooh, I can't do this. And they left. So I, I, I got the job by default. Of course, I'm really good at whatever I do because that's what it is, you know. Take some time. Yeah, it, I have a slow. Now I have a slow. I have a, I have, a I have a a little bit more than average learning curve. But when I learn it, I learn it. Let me go back to the point now. So Barack Obama. So so, so, so now I got intrigued, right? Like uh, oh the me podcast. Hey hey, far from home. Hey, now I talk about learning curves. Let me tell you another thing. The cat that's doing the 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 the, the far from home podcast, right? So I mentioned yes, Scott. Yeah, I said, Scott Gurian, right? I met Scott because I was rec recovering from an injury that I had in Washington, D.C., right? And the people down there, they, they, it was part of Pacifica Radio, this thing called, they, they had a, a program called Peace Watch, right? Okay, now, I have I, I have rep reputation uh, because I used to do uh, engineering for Democracy Now! and music breaks and, 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 and whatever, for Democracy Now! And so they knew what I did down down there. I mean, I was I was for a whole year. I was in a neck brace. I was recovering down down in Silver Spring, Maryland. But eventually, I was in Washington D.C. at the uh, Casa de Ajo. So it's a community house. Well, community. Well, it's 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 a house. It's like a a commune kind of house. I can't explain. It. It's, it's it's a vegan house. That's what it is. So I was there, and they and they got weird that I was there. So, so the, the producers, the people at, at Peace Watch, they, they approached me because it's in Washington, D.C. They say, yeah, they couldn't you done that? I said, nah, man, I, 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 I'm not feeling the work. I just don't, well, I didn't feel the work. I hadn't, I hadn't done radio for like a year, you know, engineering. Goes, yeah, I was, I was chilling, you know. Okay. So they said, well, look, the, the, the engineer right now, he's going on vacation. Can you just at least come in and, you know, just do the vacation, you know, do, do, you know, just help us out. Uh, I said, uh, okay, so I go there to help him out, right? Well, one thing led to another, and um, so I ended up being the the engineer, engineer, yeah, engineer for for Peace One. Now this is a difficult job. You have to understand. So you might you might have they make a piece might come in like fifteen minute a fifteen minute uh, um, speech or whatever have you, and I gotta edit it down to like eight minutes where it still makes sense. Okay, I'm good at this. So, um, so things like that. Well, it would be a, an hour speech. I got to edit it down so it's like it's 15. Whatever. I got I got to edit things down where I, you don't lose the essence of it. But at the same time, at the same time, you know, my job is done. I always help out with other things. You know, Scott was a producer. Was a producer of the thing. And Scott was yeah, produce, he's one of the producers. What was it? Lorna was the head. Whatever. It, uh, um, uh, I mean, Lorna was was one of the producers. I guess Scott was a producer. Scott had some other position too, producer. Right? And Verna was there was only four of us. So Verna Avery Brown was the the thing. I always functioned best with like three or four people, you know. Well, sounds it it, it, it just it just said that Scott was really good at what he does, you know. And in fact, everybody was good at what they did, right? I was good at what I did, right? And me and Scott really we we had that thing humming. We was like boom 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 boom. boom. And I told you all this before. Here's the importance of Peace Watch. That's when I first learned about Scott Ritter. Uh, in fact, uh, the, what's that? The, the, the crying guy is on CNN or wherever he's on these days. Uh, uh, Van Jones. He had came through one time because that, that's when he used to, uh, they stood with the Ella Baker thing up there in, 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 on the West Coast, right? So I met him then, like that. that. He seemed to be pretty good. He locks down. He seemed to be a regular brother. Lordy be. People change all the time. Anyway, let me get off Scott. So, anyway, so, so that's how I know Scott. And he does these he does these podcasts, he goes around the world you know, the other day, the old, yeah, do interviews. Because we we're, we're both really, we both do the same thing. We are uh, when I say the same thing, I mean we like interviewing people. We like getting the situation and getting down with the peoples. That kind of thing. Okay, so that, let me leave Scott alone. Let me let me go to what I was saying. So 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 you want to know the, the, the essence of somebody like, like like Van Jones, I see him with one thing, but then, you know, years later I see him crying on TV and or being this and that, like they, they, he gets sensitive. Barack Obama fires him because, um, because the, the Republicans said that he 
he says something bad about us, and, and, and Barak, you know, this is one of the reasons why he, you know, he's, he's Posada and Andrada in the, in the black, least black male community. The, the women still, oh, hey, Michelle, they, they still like him, but black men, mm -mm -mm. if you have a black man that likes Barack Obama, that means he really likes him. Anyway, back to the point. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at and I'm realizing, but you all who you, you all who you not you pretend to be, you all who you're, you, you've been DNA'd. For instance, you know that Joseph Biden, he was reared, raised by segregationists, racists, right? You know the, the real racists, the ones that are in office that that make that make policy against you. And for, since he was a congressman, and when he became a senator, he did things against black people, that uh, racist kind of thing. That's what he does. That's in his DNA. He can't help it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so he goes away. Let's look at Barack Obama. Who was he raised by? I got this from Iron Man. I'm an Ose friend from him. He does a podcast, uh, uh, Funky Academic. I've, I've listened to him a long time because, because of philosophy. That's when I first started listening to him. Okay, so here we go. Hey, Kim, uh, uh, wave, wave to you too. Uh, so, 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 so things are in your DNA. How you, how you start, that's you're going to be. Now, so I got this from Army. Uh, well, actually, I knew this somehow in the periphery, but it, it didn't like those things that just float around. You, you, you pull it when it's necessary. You have to understand, his, he has a Kenyan father. Now, remember, Kenyan father. Yeah, Ken, Kenyan father and a, and a Midwestern uh, uh, mother. Uh, well, uh, for lack of a better term, a European descended mother, right? Now, his father got here because, uh, remember, Black folks, black men, you know, I'm saying black black folks, this is the civil rights movement. I'm, we were we, we was part of the, the, the black power. But anyway, because of the struggles that we made, all these 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 people they started they they could um, they could come and they could study in the United States. So his father got here out here on a student visa, right? That's how he met his mother. Okay. Fine enough. That means he owes us, right? Because it was through our struggles that the boy could come to about uh, uh, Barack Obama's father, I say boy to everybody, that the boy could come to the States and, and study and meet Barack's mother. Okay, Barack's mother, her parents, her mother and her father, wherever they was from in the Midwest, let's say Kansas, I don't know, it's just the middle of the country, let's say, wherever they were from, I would say misery, but you know, I don't want to do that, you know. Anyway, they were from the Midwest, right? But they uprooted from the Midwest and they went to Hawaii. Why they go to Hawaii? Because, you know, dole, the dole, the dole, the, the, I became the 50th state, and somehow uh, they were giving out. Uh, if you're if you're a European, if you wasn't Hawaii, you you could get land and you could get opportunities. That of course, to the autochthonous people there, what they took because the autochthonous people was really black. You understand that you know, the Hawaiian Empire was something. It was a land grab from the United States. They grabbed everybody's land. They, that's what they do. They grab land in the middle, and and they want the Dole Company, you know, pineapple company to to, to you. But anyway, it's a pineapple plantation. So they got the, they got to Hawaii on one of those kind of trips, you know. It's like it's like when uh, when, when uh, uh, the, the U.S. opened up to all the immigrants coming and gave them land and and, and gave them the ways to, to farm the land and left the black people that kind of thing. You understand? You, you, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. So the here they are in Hawaii. Uh, the, the 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 mother, Barack's mother, and and father. I guess they split whatever it is. And so the mother's raised. Well, anyway, Barack ends up going to most of his formative years in Hawaii, all right? Because remember, he's not in a black situation yet. He goes to Hawaii, so he's informed by Hawaiian situation. Hawaiian, you know, from high school. Well, you know, he's on the high school basketball team. Oh, okay. Great. So um, so then his mother, well, I don't know what she was doing while the, while the, while the grandparents were raising him, but the, the mother uh, 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 splits to uh, Indonesia because she's, a, I think she was doing anthropology or something like that. Let's put the brakes on right there. Here's what I know about anthropology. I, I used to when I got out of, when I got out of uh, undergraduate school. I loved I loved anthropology. I would sit in the anthropology. I would, I'd sit in the anthropology. I met uh, Richard Leakey that way. I was you know, at the end of talking to him, checking Richard Leakey's hands. You know, person that discovered Lucy and all that stuff in East Africa. You know, so I, I used to order all kinds of classes. You know, it doesn't matter. But if I know back then, if we're talking about turn of the century. Um, what the powers that we, what the colonizer would do, 
they would, uh, well, not say colonizers, let me just go, go straight to, 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 to the colonizers' uh, 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 information was gotten from anthropologists. Because anthropologists, they would go and study a, study an area, or whatever have you, come back and give, and give their friends and their, their whatever, their, their, their colleagues, their, their uh, remember, this all comes from university kind of structure or information. So I read this book, The Desert Queen. I think they made it, uh, her name was Gertrude Bell, I think it was. Anyway, she was back there with Lawrence of Arabia then, you know, that, that Lawrence of Arabia and Winston Churchill, all of them in the same, 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 same. Um, what was interesting, oh, she was the only woman that this, this, uh, the, 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 the Arabs led into it because she was like, whatever she was, I don't know what she was doing, you know, she was doing stuff, right? And she's the one that forged that whole uh, thing with, with the Arabs and the Palestinian state, all that stuff was happening at the same time. Well, she was very instrumental in that, right? But more important, she's an anthropologist, and they was getting information from her, you see? Just to let you know, okay? So let's say she was a, let's say she, uh, a girl was a, was a spy. Well, her mother, uh, Barack Obama's mother, who was an anthropologist, anthropologist also, went to Indonesia, and I don't know what she was doing in Indonesia, but she hooked up with a, with a CIA asset guy high up in the, whatever that government was, whoever that guy was, you know, out there in Indonesia, right? You know, and, 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 and basically, he was leaving a little a palatial estate, I say palatial estate, I just like the way we used to work palatial, an estate, right? So Barack Obama goes over to Indonesia with his anthropologist spy mother and his, uh, I guess, I guess it would be his stepfather or, or other daddy, who was a spy, right? Then he, you know, he's, there, he's living in opulence, whatever, whatever he's living in, it, learning stuff. The father teaches him how to go, go step out to teach him how to box and stuff like that. You know, teach him how to be a man, right? Okay. So now what happens next? As he comes back to the States, he's at, again, so he's at, I guess at Columbia, undergrad at Columbia, and he goes to Harvard. Right? But, but now, I guess maybe it was that, that incident in Harlem at, 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 you know, being at Columbia. Stupid. Hey, there's black people around, you know. But he doesn't know the black culture. He's he's he didn't even date black people. He didn't hang out with black people. He had no black friends. <laughs> but I guess during the Harvard the Harvard time said, hey, the, hey, you know, if you become a politician, you know, you can make a lot of money becoming a politician. I don't know what happened. I can't. I can't. Let me not speculate because that would be whatever it was. Okay. So, so now he gets to he graduates Harvard. Distinguished as being uh, whoever he was, the, 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 the Harvard, the Law Review, whatever. At, remember, at the same time, or a little bit before that time, that was when the, the so-called Republicans, you know, the uh, let's go, the Clarence Thomas kind of Republicans, were being recruited for that little experiment they had at Harvard because they grabbed them all out of, out, of, out of college, right? Okay, so now Barack, who comes from a, a, a spy mother and a spy father-in-law and a uh, and grandparents who are colonizers, right? He's now comes to Chicago to do what? He's going to Chicago. He's going to be a community organizer, a spy, and uh, and you know make his bones there. But to make his bones, he's in Chicago, so he goes to Jeremiah Wright's church. You know, where all the black people are, where all the real, you know, we talk about liberation theology and all this sort of stuff. He's in that circle, right? In that circle, he gets employed. You know, he gets employed as a lawyer because he's Harvard. You know, who's his boss? Michelle Obama is his boss. Hey, isn't there something that you're not supposed to state your? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Because hey, how do you meet people? The most, the easiest, the most convenient thing is that whoever you're working with, you have a relationship with them, blah, 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 or you, whatever the deal is, you know. Anyway, so 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 Michelle has bona, has genuine bona fides in Chicago, including be a house kitty. What's that house kitty? I'm sorry. Uh, people are like that they deal with house music. Let's put it that way. House. Us dancers, you know, like Club Shelter, like, you know, like Paradise Garage, like Warehouse in, 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 in Chicago. So she's in, in that, that kind of grouping. She's a house kitty. She, she likes house music. She, that's her music. That's her dance. You know, Saturday night kind of thing, right? Okay. So he's traveling in their circle. He's in, he's in the, the church kind of thing. And now with Michelle, he has his first black girlfriend, who was his boss. But anyway, his first black girlfriend. Okay, so now he becomes 
uh, uh, he had to ditch the white girl because, you know, there wouldn't be a good look, you know. It's like Kamala, she'd have sense enough to, 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 to marry black, so she could be, she, she say she, whatever she is, so whatever she is, she, when she wakes up in, 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 in the morning, she looks over, first thing she sees is a white man. I'm not making a whatever racial things. About. I'm just trying to tell you, you know, if if you wake up in the morning, first thing you see is a white man, then you got to have white on your brain. If 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 you uh, now let me do Kamala on, on Tuesday. That's all of WBAI, you know, because before then I was just doing black things. Then I then I did, you know, because I understand that, right? But I never jettisoned my black. Let me go back to the point. Let me stay on point here. So now you have a situation where when he's just deal with black issues, you know, his boy, one of his professors or the, the, one of the, 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 his colleagues at, at, at Harvard, you know, the, 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 you know, the big time guy that does all of the blood testing, you know, the DNA kind of thing, he gets the cost by a cop. Instead of Barack Obama having somebody else, hey, wait, we got to address this situation. This is, so, if you look at this whole presidency, this is what it's about. Every time you had to talk to a black person or just a black issue, like, you know, black boys dying, you know, he's always, you know, Doing the colonizing business, the, the, the colonizers, yeah, business, you know. So, you know, like, wait a second, this is this don't make no sense. So finally, after all these years, women are still, you know, oh, Barack, oh, you know, how women are, oh, Barack, oh, Barry, oh, ho, 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 and he has a wife, he has a black wife, oh my lord. So they they're still on that tip. So the black men say, wait a second, every time that boy done talk to us, be that that what was it? Any other group do something? They say, oh, wait a second. Got, got, got to do stuff for you. But black man, he was always wagging his finger at them. So fine, I think he done wagged a little bit too long because this week, man, the brothers finally said, yo, man, your your black card is suspended. <laughs> you, 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 join, you, you got to go with your, with your boy Van and the rest of them people like that. In fact, there's some, some people are starting, you know, who is a Mark Lamont Hill? He's sort of evolving. Uh, Tanakishi Ta Holtz, Ta Tanakishi Coates, whatever the boy name. He's he's back to evolve. So he, he he I guess we was on, on the fence for a little while. No, you, you know in fact you know what it is. Barack Obama 